a very random start of the video sorry about the chaos behind me but i thought i will take you behind the scenes before we start the video and that's why i'm making my own coffee i thought you would be interested in what coffee i drink oh my god i almost broke it wow i i never do that very carefully but i have this nespresso machine this is the one with the milk frother let me try to find it in the middle of everything but i'm trying to get real <laughs> So, I love this machine. I actually had before it the uh, new Nespresso ones with the bigger tabs, bad at names, but I returned it for this one because actually the, the, the small capsules are for everything. Also, another piece of information, my protein intake, I try to take care of that. Like I said in my fitness video, and I drink protein milk, helps me kick that off because in every cup of milk I have like around seven grams of protein. Not bad, and I take like around two cups. So the milk is ready in. And let's choose the tab of the day. Um, hmm. Let's make a nice latte. My husband mocks me because I like to take from the back of the tray here. Diet sugar, two, and a little bit of morning <laughs> vanilla syrup. Usually I like caramel syrup, but yeah, just a little bit to taste. Nothing fancy. Okay. You might not like this intro, but I think it's a nice change. <laughs> I'll take you with the camera, probably that's not a great idea, to the filming area. Just basically my living room. Look who is behind us. Coco. <laughs> my dog. Lighting is changing. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. I just thought I would share with you my favorite coffee and we get started. Grab your favorite drink and let's get started with this video. Hi, my name is Angie. I'm here to help you elevate your lifestyle and become the best version of yourself. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about actually dress codes and not in the conventional way, like formal, semi-formal, but really I'm gonna give you tips and tricks in that regard to set you apart. So what actually inspired this video was one of you, my beautiful ladies, uh, commented on my video about what not to wear in Christmas and she said it would be amazing to make a series of videos talking about what not to wear in general. She had an event going for baptism and she wanted to know and of course it might be a great idea to make for every special occasion but I wanted something like generic rules and tips so that you always have them in mind no matter what kind of event you're going to simply and one of the very first things that i would definitely recommend you do is checking for the event and the weather before setting what you will wear so be prepared that's the first rule that will set you apart you have to be prepared let me give you an example so what also inspired and ignited me to start with the video back from my surgery was the idea that i was invited for a hiking in the wine yards event with my friends and i wasn't sure if i will go so i didn't do my research my bad so don't do that but my husband told me okay let's go let's prepare what to wear and then i was like oh, what should i wear today and i wore jeans and sneakers i was extremely hot and everyone knew that for sure I didn't do my research because everyone was in shorts or dresses for the wine hike and I was in jeans which was really embarrassing and very hot but you have to learn from me that and that's the thing most special occasion formal wear is very generic on okay semi-formal but what semi-formal means for each event is something always lost but let me drag it down or strip it down to back to basics the first thing you have to know is shoes are the first 
department that can go very wrong with dress code because something can be very casual once you add shoes like heels to it it's immediately semi-formal so shoes are very very important if you haven't watched my shoes etiquette video go watch it um that will explain to you a lot when it comes to styling shoes but it doesn't explain that much dress code in matters of shoes but as a start let's think about it that way where are the places that it's not appropriate to wear heels when you're visiting someone at the hospital, it's not appropriate to wear heels. Why? Because heels make sound and maybe when you're entering the room, you don't want to disturb the patients. That's number one. Second location where you're not allowed to wear heels is at any sports event where you have to participate or you would have to walk a lot. Heels are actually not appropriate. Not appropriate just not because it doesn't look good, but also it's not appropriate because you will fall, you will stumble, you will walk funny. And that is not what an elegant lady does in general. Another thing to bear in mind with the heels, heels are not very appropriate in some work areas meaning if you're a worker who works in a construction field you're an architect you can go to a lot of events like this don't wear heels but of course if you work at an office and you do a lot of business meetings heels are appropriate but not all heels are also appropriate for that because for example stilettos very thin very provocative and they could be on the sexier end they are not appropriate for work but a little bit of a kitten heel or a 10 centimeter maximum heels will be like good pumps to wear for work. So this is the start. Also for certain activities, certain shoes have to go. So if you go to play tennis, don't go with regular sneakers. You have to understand that sneakers have types. There's tennis shoes, there is running shoes, there's football shoes. So yes, a sneaker is in that department available and okay, but not every type of sneaker is okay. So that has to be something you keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is, as I said, in certain activities so if you go skiing or hiking the shoes must be appropriate so hiking or generally hiking hunting going in a field where there might be mud shoes that are especially made to be resistant to uh, weather conditions some shoes for me they are like the jack of all trades they can be worn in multiple occasions and one of those are the hunter boots I have the long ones because I think they are the most successful to keep my pants clean since I wear all the time whites and light clothes. That was my best bet and it keeps me looking put together somehow the entire time while I'm in that event or something. Okay, what else, Angie? You're talking about shoes. <laughs> Boring, we want something more exciting, of course. Let's think about it that way. Being weather appropriate is so important because if you are wearing something too open and you're freezing and you are in, a, in an event outdoors in a country that is a little bit with chilly weather, that's not appropriate as well. That's not part of the dress code. Another thing, even if, for example, I am invited to a wedding end of the month of my friend and even though a wedding can be a formal event where you wear formal, if the invitee didn't say it's like a black tie event or something like a gala night you are also puzzled because it depends on the country if you are in the middle east and you're going to a wedding you might wear what people would wear for black tie but in in my country but in other countries like europe if it's an outdoor wedding it's a total different scenario when it comes to religious events also there is like an unspoken rule of what to not wear and what to wear you have to be modest whether you're going to a synagogue to a mosque to a church like for the baptism for example you have to wear something appropriately covered so in that case i would suggest long sleeve dresses no cleavage showing nothing so extravaganza and i wouldn't say cover your hair but you can wear a fascinator or a hat something appropriate for the occasion wearing hats for example is also something that has its own um, etiquette fully and that's something that is ancient and has been talked about a lot you don't wear hats inside and sunglasses you have to take them off and also the way you take them off and where you hand them you don't take off your sunglasses and I see a lot of people do this I sometimes used to do this you put it in your shirt here 
that's not ladylike not appropriate you can't actually invest in a nice glass necklace like those necklaces around the neck that hold your glasses that's okay you can have one of the small bags like the long champ ones for the phone for your sunglasses or have uh, your bag with you and put sunglasses in it you can also have the foldable sunglasses like the ray-ban ones i have i think what's available now new is the wafer from this line but that's the thing it's pocket size and you can keep it in your pocket but never put your sunglasses like this that's not appropriate uh, for dress code it's also important and i've talked about like the bs of uh, old money on social media in that regard what people imagine like going on a sailing boat would be wearing and you will have those crazy pictures of ladies in diamonds and dresses and heels which is absolutely inappropriate for example most of the time you would find people either wearing their shirts from the sailing club or they're wearing polos with uh, white shorts or promota shorts they're wearing either they are barefooted or wearing tennis type shoes or sneakers so these things you have to be appropriate to the place the moment you dress up more than what the place requires you're automatically perceived as vulgar or not uh, elegant so do your research very important don't just stick to the headlines of formal or informal do your research regarding weather regarding the activity regarding the duration of the event because if it's a, like look at it in that way comfort is always elegance it's not like wearing something uncomfortable that will make you elegant on the contrary the moment you wear something that is not comfortable you will walk sit funny and you will not act elegant at all you will look more elegant when you are ready for the weather for the event itself for the duration for the type of activities you will be doing for the country so you have to be country appropriate as well and that's why for example when i went to the horse race if you haven't seen like my reels on getting ready for the horse race on instagram go follow me on instagram and tiktok as a start but yeah so these are the things that can help you actually look always appropriate for events we are approaching halloween and there is a lot of a notion regarding halloween in the uh, pop culture halloween became the event like i i remember that line from mean girls where people are able to dress like inappropriately and be accepted by society not as like you know bad girls i don't know how to say it appropriately but that's exactly what you shouldn't be doing you should be creative on what you're going to be wearing but you don't have to show too much skin don't wear lingerie as, as as regular clothes so you know the trend of wearing corsets i've seen this trend and my husband told me no like he's never a guy that comments on what i'm wearing but this is the only thing he commented that it's not elegant at all and i agree with him to a certain extent because when you think about it it's it's pop culture made us think that wearing lingerie is sexy and it makes you good looking but these are things that you wear delicately at home stay tuned for my next video because i'm going to be talking about what to wear a loungewear and at home and that video will enlighten you on what is considered when to wear because that's also something that people get wrong they wear at home stuff that are not maybe on the sexier end but the bedroom is where you can explore with lingerie simply but not to the outside world that's just like not adequate or simply good for like the decorum of being elegant what else i'm trying to keep my head back together because after my surgery i'm all over the place but i guess that i covered most of the things so wearing appropriate is important for you to look elegant and that is the basics of dress code if you want a video about the dress code terms so crackdown of formal semi-formal casual all of this i can make a video about this but i thought this video is more of like the generic topic and not so specific because i don't think it's very handy to tell you yeah semi-formal and you might not hear it except in one event in your lifetime it doesn't make sense it maybe makes more sense to people who are diplomats or people who work where they must go to a lot of public events where they have like a specific dress code but generically what you would need more is the tips i shared with you today i hope the video was helpful follow for more like this video if you liked it dislike it if you don't subscribe and i will see you in the next video bye